Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Wait a minute, I think some light would help here. There we go, that's much better. So guys, today I wanna to give you a full tour of the home gym. It has come a long way, and I'm so proud of what I've accomplished. In the last five-ish years or so, I've built it up to what you see now, all this here, and I absolutely love it. Actually, just recently, I canceled my gym membership because I enjoy working out here so much more than I do at the home, than I do at the commercial gym. So I start, start spending a lot less time at the commercial gym and a lot more time here. It was time to them, for them to go bye-bye and uh, have a much better workout here. Because if you know the gym, at least the public gym, you're waiting for machines, and if you go around five o'clock after everyone gets out of work, oh my God, it's a madhouse. It's so hard to get a workout in. A 45 minute workout to an hour takes two hours. Why do that to yourself when you work out at home? Use whatever space you got with whatever you got, even if it's two dumbbells and that's all you got, you can have a much better workout at home most of the time, depending on what your goals are. So, without further ado, let's get my face out of the frame here, turn you around, so I can give you a full tour of every piece of equipment I have in here, because it has come a long way. And before we get started, let me show you what the gym used to look like. So that's what it used to look like. It was just a bar, a little what have you to hold the bar, and then a couple of weights and that was it. And it was what I started out with because I had to test it out to see if I actually loved or liked working out at home or it was just gonna be something that, eh, it's okay. I'd much rather have the commercial gym because I, I want that environment. And that's okay if you want that. But for me, I like having my own music. I like wearing what I want, doing what I want, and working out with family and the kids. So which I can't do at the public gym. So, again, let's get my face off here and turn you around and show you what I got. So everything is still a work in progress, it always is, and I keep trying to wait till I get everything done to do a video, but here, here's how it stands as of October 2024. So on this side, I have a treadmill with a TV up there so I don't get bored. And then on the back side of it, I have a Bells of Steel tower. Absolutely love that thing. I just moved it, rearranged things, so I still have to finish bolting it to the floor, to the to the wall there. And this side of the gym, as you can tell, there's been a little bit of construction. So there's been a little bit of construction on this side. So I still have to clean up this side of the wall. And it is a garage, so there is, you know. Let's say, you know, the laundry room and that kind of stuff because it is a house and I still have to function as a house. So I still got house things. So next to the Bells of Steel Tower is a bike, just a one of these uh, life fitness uh, gym quality machines. I try to get more gym quality machines because they're more heavier duty if I can fit them. But if not, you know, I get the best quality I can. And on this side, I also have another commercial bench from actually 24 Hour Fitness. It's just a 90 degree bench. And in front of that, I have a Titan tibia machine. It's something I just got recently and absolutely love it. it the tibias don't get worked that often. And actually I've heard by doing the tibias, it helps improve knee function and knee mobility. So I'm gonna keep doing that to see if that works. And then in the middle, which every gym needs is a squat rack. This is the Reality Fitness squat rack. It's not the best, but it's a very popular one and it holds about a thousand pounds something so it's more than I need for the moment so it's absolutely great and I got some of these J hooks um, I don't really like these I will do a review why I don't like those but I just got some of these uh, yes for all rollers here and absolutely love those I can center the bar where I want it a lot easier and then just a bunch of different accessories on here I have some fat grips up there um, I got this here for a TRX, and of course the pulley system that's attached to the uh, Reality Fitness. 
And then the bench in the middle, adjustable bench, is another bench I got from 24 Hour Fitness. It's a flex fitness, adjustable bench, heavy duty, absolutely love this thing. And of course, you see all my Olympic plates. These are just steel plates, nothing fancy. So over here, we have mess over here, but that's okay. Let me, but let's start on this side. I just have a bench 1000 Pro Kippy. Um, it got really good reviews and I like it because I use it for decline bench as well as some sit-ups and that kind of stuff. So it's really nice, I like that. And over on this side, I have a hyper extension, also commercial grade. The last ones I got were a little tipsy because they were real lightweight. This one I can actually go all the way down and get a good stretch, so it feels amazing. And next to that, I have a Titan Fitness fly machine. The jury's still out on this one. I like it, but I don't like it, but it's a lot better than the commercial ones. It's a lot better than the cheap ones. So you're right in the middle there. So because the commercial ones are a lot taller, a lot bigger, and a lot heavier, and I just don't have the room. So for what it is, this is perfect for a home gym. And then next to that, I have a Schwinn, this, the old Schwinn fan bike on this side. Absolutely love this. It's a little older, but it's chain driven versus belt driven. I want to upgrade this. This might be the next thing I upgrade, but this works just fine for now. And I'm still debating whether I want to upgrade or not because that's a huge upgrade and a huge dollar cost amount. And uh, these older Schwinn bikes, they're a little bit louder, but feel just the same as the new ones. And over here we have power blocks, the Pro Series power blocks that go up to 90 pounds. Like I maxed them out to the highest they could go. And there's just a one I found that's just a generic one. I just use that for accessory movements. And that's sitting on a Titan adjustable box squat where you can adjust it up and down. So if I need it, I can take it out because I want to get a Titan or sorry, a power block just a stand just for the power blocks, but it's just a stand and it doesn't do anything. So this way I have a multi-function area, which I can use for multiple things. So this here is a little bit of a mess. And I'll explain what I got here. This is a all for legs in this area. This right here is a calf machine, a seated calf machine. I bring it down so I can use it, but just to clear up some space. And I use those, you know, once or twice a week. So I have them there. And on the back side here is a sissy squat. Also bring that down. And this is an amazing piece of machinery here. Absolutely love it. You can back it up to any bench and use it for leg extension, leg curl, and supposedly you're able to use it for some uh, back, but not really. It's mostly a leg, leg curl, leg extension because the freestanding leg extension is leg curl, whether it's commercial or not, they take up a lot of room. So this is easy. It backs up right there and absolutely Perfect. So on the wall, I got all my bars and let's explain here what I got. On the very top here, I have an, let's see, Rogue Easy Curl Rackable Bar. Absolutely love that. That's why I got rid of my regular Easy Curl bars and my Preacher Car and my Preacher Curl because now I have that and I can use it with the rack. And below that is a Titan Starter Bar. It can still hold, I think, a thousand pounds. That's why I haven't changed it yet, but I do want to upgrade that one in the future to an Ohio bar. And then below that is a safety squat bar, a Titan one, the V2, I believe. Don't get the V1. The V1, these are a lot wider. They hang off the sides of your shoulders and very uncomfortable. I had one, had it for a week and I sold it. So the V2 is the way to go. And then below that, I got some, let's see, Rogue DB15s handles. So when I need to go above 90 pounds, I can put some of my plates on there and I can use that for whatever movement, whatever movements I'm doing. And below that, I just got some accessories for some lap lats and uh, whatever you might be using, curls, just a bunch of different accessories in this area. And over here I have a few more bars. These I don't use as often. The top was a six foot, just a generic bar that I got. I rarely use that one and I'm thinking about getting rid of that one because it's been used maybe once this year. And down below is a multi-grit bar. I believe that's Titan. Um, the jury's still out on that one as well. 
I kind of like it, kind of don't. So that one may have to go eventually as well. And that's pretty much my whole gym. Everything's packed into a, let's get me back here. Hey guys. So everything is packed into a one car garage. I tried to utilize the space the best I could um, with the equipment I had. I've gone through several pieces of equipment trying to figure out what works best in here because it can get really crowded really quick because I want to have that same feeling as I did at the commercial gym right here at home and do everything I could over there plus more. Of course, I'm not going to fit the big quality machines that they have at the gym that can do single, like say shoulders or um, abs, what have you. But if you can do those in a different version at home, absolutely amazing. And I'm very proud of what I've accomplished here. That's why I'm sharing it with you guys, because to give you ideas on whatever space you might have, I've seen some shed builds, I've seen some backyard builds. It just, you gotta work with the space you got and fill it with what you, uh, with what your goals are and, what, and what'll make you happy and keep you keep, keep you keep working out. Does that make sense? <laughs> okay, so anyways, this is my whole garage gym. If you have any questions about anything in here or want me to do a full review on anything that you saw, let me know in the comments. And as usual, hit that subscribe button, thumbs up, and thanks for watching.